Hello from HB Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to do a small walkthrough for people that are curious about using uh, emulators on their phone. But you know, it's kind of complicated because you have your emulators you have to download, then you have to find ROMs. There's a very neat program that puts it all together for you. It's a program called Emulator ROM. That's how it's written out in the Android market. It's a free app. And the first thing you'll notice when you start it up, it has your different emulators. So you choose which one I like old NES games and you can choose categories or you can search so very neat let's go to action and as soon as you go into one of these screens you'll notice it gives you an option of all US European Chinese or Japanese and this is really neat. I like to do all because I like to see versions of games I never saw and here you'll notice it gives you emulators sorry I didn't mean to click that uh, I go with Tiger because they're free and they have full functionality. Any SOA has been around the longest, it's the nicest, but unless you want to pay for it, the light version doesn't let you save games. Where Tiger NES and all the other Tiger emulators do, and they're they're very stable, very functional, and very neat. And you can directly download them from there, and you can directly download your ROMs here. And it puts them all in the right place so there's nothing to worry about. And let me show you. When you don't want to use that app, you can go straight into the emulator programs and your games will already be in the right place because emulator ROM has placed them in the right place. So let's go into Tiger NES and that's because I just updated it and you'll see all my games. And when I go in, it'll take me to my game saves. I can hit menu and I can load other games, save my current game, reset the system, quit and go into other settings. Now I have a HTC G2, so of course I have my keyboard program for my buttons, but it does offer on-screen buttons too. Uh, very neat, works very well, and just a very simple way to get into uh, emulators and ROMs on your phone without having to worry about downloading the right emulator and where you put the ROMs and all of this. And also if you get a call or something, it automatically pauses and goes to the top of the screen. So you don't have to worry about losing your game. You can come back and it's in the exact spot you left off. So you do have to exit out of the program. You can't just leave it running or it will run in the background. But just very neat, very worth checking out. It's emulator ROMs is what it's written under in the Android market. And if you love classic games, it covers, uh, it covers NES, Super NES, Game Boy Advance, Genesis, PSX, and I look for the future for it to have Nintendo 64, since there is a new uh, Nintendo 64 emulator out, uh, I think it's called uh, N64OID, uh, it's well worth checking out too if you have one of the higher end, or 1 gigahertz phones, because uh, it's nice to have your N64 ROMs on here too. PSX I haven't tried, I've had a little bit of trouble getting PlayStation 1 ROMs to work, but there's not much off PlayStation 1 I wanted anyways. Like I said, for any of the other systems, it's definitely worth checking out and a good way to get into ROMs and emulators on your phone. So I hope you enjoy the app. Thanks.